it's a celebration of the strength of our contemporary relationship between the UK and Israel. We've never had uh, such a strong relationship in terms of trade, investment, science and technology. We also work closely together against terrorism and other shared threats. So it's the right moment, we think, for uh, a visit to really shine a light on that relationship and show how strong the contemporary relationship is between the two, uh, the two countries. Fantastic. You know, I think it will... It means there's a lot of work, but it's... Um, it's good. Yeah, yeah no, it's great. It's good. But, uh, it should be fun. I think the heat will not be too much. <laughs> British government policy has been consistent regarding Jerusalem for, for years, for decades in fact, and absolutely nothing has changed uh, regarding our policy. And the description, for example, of the Prince's visit reflected decades of terminology used by British governments. It's important to emphasise that the Duke is not a political figure. This is not a political visit. ...to the party. <laughs> and, you know, but it's great, no, it's, I think there's a real affection and I understand that people want to... We have a different view than the government of Israel does, that's clear. Uh, there are many, many things that we and the government of Israel agree on. There are many things that we work together on. There are some issues that we take a different view on, and I think that's characteristic of a deep, mature relationship as we have between the two countries. The Duke's very clear that he wants to come and get under the skin of the country. He wants to get a feel for Israel. He wants to get a flavour of the country. He doesn't just want to come and sit in meeting rooms and do what many visitors do. He actually wants to get out there and experience the place, including particularly meeting uh, young people here. Uh, I shall be watching the, the football match. We're going to have a two-hour pause this afternoon in our visit preparations to allow us all to be you know, cheering on England against Panama. And then we'll be back to work uh, this evening preparing for the visit. But I'm afraid there's no way. I mean, the Duke is a massive football fan, so I'm sure he will be following it closely. And there's no way the embassy won't be watching the football this afternoon.